Coke oh. enter the religion oh. of Chamula. The people in Chamula, they consider like every time they slow it down. Blood, they are like using like a, a rituality. And then Over Coke? The rituality is present the Coca-Cola. These people are drinking. Is that a dead chicken? Bro. What Coke monster are you summoning? I'm confused. The almighty Coca-Cola. <laughs> What's going on, Clutch? Squat! What up, what up, what up? It's your boy, Dup. It's your boy, Ross. And we're in the clutch, baby. Hey. Back to you, ladies and gentlemen, another bitch today. You feel me? What we got, All right, Ross? we got a, got a very interesting one. I mm -hmm. investigated Mexico's deadly Coca-Cola addiction. That's why. I didn't even know I that was I thought you said thing. it was chill, man. Damn, this deadly. Is chill. This De is not chill. Deadly, though. This is this chill. Hey, just stop drinking Coke. <laughs> That's simple. There's two ways to think about that, though. Ah, uh, what they putting in that Coke? Because for those who don't know, the reason why it's called Coca-Cola back in the day. That's not true. Yeah, it is. That, that's really true. It wasn't, they weren't the only company that was doing that, too. But no, that's definitely true. Mm. What about that's root beer? Why. What do you think they put in there? What kind of roots? <laughs> they putting in their beer? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. That's very interesting. But back in the day, boys, was they were putting a lot of wild stuff in their food and stuff like that. But at the same time, people were, you know what I'm saying? People would be drinking on that and be fine living sometimes to the ripe old age of 90 or even beyond. You'd be crazy. Like, you drunk Coke every single day. Like, my grandmother, she loved her some Coke, bro. Do you think, you think Coke people have right. withdrawals when they stop putting, you know, Coke in the Coke? Possibly. Now they, they made it super sweet. Mm-hmm. Some had and price. and it was it probably was a way to keep people hooked and addicted to it. You know what I'm saying? Because once you back then, once you were able to establish something being good, people are gonna keep buying that yeah. because that's all they knew yeah, at well, that time. Sprinkle a little bit of coke in that bad boy. Yeah, yeah. Keep it coming back, baby. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> part of they fucking marketing. What part of Mexico are we here now? You stupid dog. <laughs> Whoa. Line, line up the soda on it. Yeah. Whoa. This is some, Whoa. This is some, some good ass Get Coca Cola. Going. <laughs> Make you want to dance in this glass that's bottle. Why they, that's why they always use the white polar bear. You ain't, you ain't realize that? During the holiday seasons? So Christmas? It was always a, yeah, white polar bear. Why would. Coca Bear. Mm. He's a we're gonna get be on to something, dog. We're gonna get a phone call. Hey, stop what you're doing. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> the stream gonna shut down. Shut the fuck up. All right, man. Let's let's get out of our conspiracy. What, what, what part of Mexico we in? Uh Chamula? Chamula? Chamula, Mexico? I don't know. Chamula. All right, let's see what they talking about, man. Chamula. A town that worships Coca-Cola. The average person. Oh, all right, bro. Oh, did she really spin it around the fire? Nah, bro. That's, we ain't doing no doing? seance with no fucking Coca Cola, bro. Oh, <laughs> we ain't doing that. I ain't gonna Spoon. hold you. The coke, the coke in the bottle, in the glass bottle, that mug used to hit. Yeah, I bet. I don't know if you ever had any. They, mm -hmm. they still sit. They would still sell it. Like I don't know if they still sell it now, but they mm -hmm. would. They instead of the plastic bottle, they would put it. It used to be in the glass bottles mm -hmm. back in the day. Yeah. Mm hmm That glass resonates with the Coke a little bit better. Yeah, man. Let the flavors go around. Here drinks over a half gallon of Coke per day. Almost 40% of adults are obese. And Speak diabetes on the is the Ivy. second leading cause of death. Two. Over 35% have diabetes. Nah, bro. Don't put a fucking Coke bottle on my tombstone. That's wild. You or put just a pour it on you. That's what you would have wanted. Shit. You died from it. Tell. I'm honoring you all ass. This nigga putting the two liter. We love you, bro. That's for my homies, bro. <laughs> I ain't finna waste all this, man. Hey, get your Oh, own. my God. <laughs> Coke bottle on the grave is crazy. I've never that seen is, that. That is, I've in my life. never seen that, bro. Coke bottle, bro. <laughs> you know how people, they pour out the Hennessy or whatever <laughs> liquor. The Coke, bro. <laughs> Give me the Coke. Not the can. Do you think there are a lot of people with diabetes here because they have sugar drink? The baby. Mexico drinks more Coca-Cola per capita than any other country. Damn. What impact is Coke having on the locals' health? No. Why do they love Not drinking? Not in the little squeezy. Out the bag. Little squeezy oh, Coke. You know what's crazy? Coke knows this. Oh, we getting these Mexicans. Hey, you're right. 
Yeah. They know it. They know it. So they guess what? To. They gonna pump out as much Coca Cola to these of niggas. Course. They don't give a damn about the health ramifications. These niggas gonna drink it out of a fucking plastic bag. That wild. is wild, bro. Like oh, get so half much. gallon Can a this day? diabetes epidemic be stopped? I met up with the local named Rudy to find out. <gasps> Look at that. Hey, you can't make this up. Look at all that Coke. Coca-Cola. Coca Coca-Cola oh. Coca 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 again. So we're headed to Chamula, the Coke of the world, would you say? Yes. Oh, How did Coke oh, enter the religion oh. of Chamula? The people in Chamula, they consider like everything. They slowed it down. Blood. They are like using like a, a rituality. And then Over Coke? to the rituality is present the Coca-Cola. These people are drinking. Is that a dead chicken? Bro. What Coke monster are you summoning? I'm confused. The almighty Coca-Cola. <laughs> the almighty Bro! cola. That's this is this is all we only a few seconds in and I'm I bruh. You you you'd be surprised what you find out what's going on on a on a different side of the planet. I would have never known Mexico, this particular city, is Chambula. addicted. The coke like that. Like, pray to it. Anyone else on earth? Yes. Here is like, uh, wow, it's, I really like it. No. The Mexican coke really does hit better. Yes. Okay. yes, yes. In my, in my oh, oh, okay. hey. Tabula, I believe I in Mexico. Oh, look, the Coca Cola truck. Oh, there it is. Can we talk to them? Quanto pesos por este? A tres ochenta y cinco. Okay. We got one. For, for, for a wait. Wait, wait, bro, look. So for four of them? That's 23 cent, bro. Damn. 23 Bro, we'd be rich in coke, bro. <laughs> you go down there with a dollar. Just one dollar. What's up, y'all? I got all the coke you want, baby. Hey, <laughs> my, coke, my coke jacket on, you feel yeah. me? What y'all want? What y'all want? I got what you need. Opening up random life. Coke cans, smashing them like Stone Cold, putting them in the oh air. My. It's a Coke party, baby. Yeah. Okay, we got water. It's cheaper to drink the Coke than the water. I'm drinking that water. Yes. Okay. Coca Cola chairs. Look at this. It's cheaper to drink oh, Coke than water. You missed that part. I didn't even realize it's that. It's cheaper to drink Coke than water. That's why. Wow, bro. Why drink water when Coke is cheaper to drink? Facts. <laughs> <laughs> is baffled by how Coke was in every store out here and far more available than bottled water. I wanted to understand what strategies Coke used to conquer Mexico. But to understand yeah. that, we need to understand their pricing strategy. A little over a dollar, we can get two Cokes. And you can return the bottle. Yes, if you return the bottle, it's, it's cheaper. So if you give back the bottle, you get Coke again. Yes. For cheaper. Yes. Let's uh, analyze the Coke here. You. Okay. Three liters. Three liters right here. Yes. How common is this in a family household? Very common. Quantos gramos de azúcar en aquí? No sé. They don't know. No, no. No one knows. Es más popular aquí en esta ciudad? Sí, la verdad sí, porque para usos y costumbres, por lo regular, por, es un ejemplo. Cuando van a pedir a una a una chica para esposa de alguien, los típicos refrescos que llevan son Coca-Cola, oh. que son por paquete. Hey, baby. Hey, I'm hey, trying to convince, you know, I'm trying to show my love and appreciation you for you. So I bought you a, a six pack of that glass Coke that I know you like. Ooh. Yeah, you ain't Mommy never seen like. this before. You ain't seen Ooh. this bad boy. <laughs> Mommy and, like. And I wrote on all the labels, so you know it's real. You yeah, and me. then when we finish drinking them, we can return the bottle back and get some more, baby. Mm -hmm. Oh, you ain't know? I got money, baby. I got five dollars on. When we can drink Coke all night long. Coke until you drop, baby. Yes, sir. <laughs> it's like a bringing <laughs> offerings. Yes, and that's offerings is. Coca-Cola. This is 27 for 1.35, so it gets cheaper the more you buy. With Coke in every corner store in this city, the few water bottles available for sale are mostly the brand CL, which is also owned by Coca-Cola. Given the option between a nice, cold, they sugary smart. Coke wow. and a water bottle for the same price, it's no surprise that people here are choosing Coke. But oh, they are doubling up. These niggas are smart. master. They are mastermind. Oh, we not only are we providing y'all the water, we provide y'all that coke that y'all love. That's we got crazy. you. We got you. Is coke being coke honest ad. and upfront about the health consequences it's having on the public? Rudy led me to this basketball court to understand a little more. Whoa! 
They sponsor the basketball courts? Yes, it's like a, they, they paint. Coca-Cola everywhere. They own the culture. Duh. This is crazy, a Coca-Cola basketball hoop. On the court? Hoop. And look, Coke cans right over there. Coke is everywhere out here. This Coke-sponsored basketball court is just another example of Coke sponsoring youth sporting events since 2006 as part of their Ponte Al 100 that cola, program baby. to exercise rather than drinking less sugary drinks like Coke. Despite research showing that diet is a far more important factor <laughs> in obesity and diabetes. So you're going to, you're sponsoring a program for them to lose weight, but you're still providing them the Coke anyway. Yeah. That makes, that's just a cover up to say, hey, we're trying to help. But when you get a little tired and thirsty from your workout, Yo, drink a Coke. Coke. <laughs> Bro, these niggas are the, the positive and the negative at the same time. Oh, and they got that whole community in a chokehold, bro. Yeah, look at this dude. This nigga Nick is in a chokehold. <laughs> bro, that, that, come on, man. Then exercise. Today was the celebration <laughs> of the Virgin of Guadalupe, and Rudy said that during holidays like this, Coke plays a critical role in their traditions and sometimes even religion. I'll say it's the social great. meetings. And part of the tradition is like a to share some, they are like a giving normally push and coke. And in Chamula, where we're headed, some even believe coke has magic healing properties and it's used in rituals. Diabetes is caused by anger and problems in the family. When we scold each other, when we yell at each other, it turns into diabetes. Oh, look at her grill, too. Yeah, man, is he, hey, is he kind of she she iced out? She had a grill too, bro. It's probably cabbage. Hold on, shit. But with this much coke here in Zincantan, I could only imagine how much coke they drank in Shamula. But first, we had to meet up with a local Sotzil native to get inside Shamula because this town is exclusively occupied by the indigenous Sotzil Mayan natives, highly suspicious of outsiders, with some mm -hmm. even believing cameras capture your soul when a photo is taken. Oh. And Shamula has a unique autonomous status within Mexico and their own I think police force come steal where no coke. outside police or military are allowed in the village and crimes are punished severely. Going so Oh. far as to lynch and burn you people drink not, you drink water they, they, they childish bro whoa, whoa strapped to wooden chairs and burnt alive two men are fatally punished by furious mexican villagers after alleged car theft they take that fuck around and find it out differently see in other places in the you, world we, we need to start adapting to some of these little in other traits. places in the world bro you do any petty crime you could steal a bottle of coke and nah, bro, you you get the se severe punishment. They don't play that shit in other because places. that's gonna stop the next person from trying to steal. Mm -hmm. Damn, a lot of who have committed it. serious offenses. John, good to meet you. How prevalent is diabetes here in Chamula? Eh, no hay un porcentaje exacto, pero si sí hay enfermedades que vaya diabetes. Sin embargo, la gente no se pregunta cuál es la causa. Más bien desconoce las causantes. Solo es como se puede decir que Coca-Cola podría ser una causante, ¿sale? No exactamente Coca-Cola sea la causa. Since when did oh, that's not the only reason why people. So popular in Chamula. 1994. Es cuando llega la, la empresa Coca-Cola en San Cristóbal. Look, look, look. Ah. All the soda. We are surrounded by soda and beer of all kinds right now. Do you sell more Coca-Cola or Pepsi here? Uh, Coca. Coca-Cola? Uh, Mucho más Coca-Cola? Uh, Coca. Okay. Coke was sí. everywhere. Even the babies were guzzling it. <laughs> With Coke. Like, damn, I was like, mm, mm. ah, one more, mom. One more sip, please. And for those who don't know, bro, Coke, you know, you drink a lot of that. I can stain your teeth, too, bro. Like, that uh, is right. very acidic. That's why she had that, that nice little, you know what I'm saying, cavity grill. Yeah. <laughs> the cola, other cocoa and sodas, and the predominant water bottle company, CL, owned by Coke. I could barely find any Pepsi here, and it seemed nope. like Coke owned literally every beverage out here. Yep. Hey, gusta Coca-Cola or Pepsi? Coca. Coca-Cola okay. owned water compared Coca. to singular Pepsi. <laughs> Damn, that's one. I might find that weak-ass Pepsi, but they yeah. probably clown you. Is that a Pepsi? That's Bloods vs. Crips, man. Don't play that shit. Pips. If I'm to be honest, I should do prefer if I had to choose, I don't really drink Coke like that or sodas like that. But if I had to choose just between Coke and Pepsi, I'll probably choose Coke. To be honest. <laughs> I'm just being dead ass. Yeah, all right. <laughs> you ain't <laughs> I mean, until this that's, video. That's what I, 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 minutes I in. I told you my grandmother, that's what they had. They had Coke and they had Sprite all the time. They rarely had Pepsi. 
they would have some of that Fanta, you know, some some of that grape soda. You know that some commercial? What? That Fanta commercial? Mm-hmm. Fanta, the, Fanta, Fanta. Women. Don't you want them? Mm-hmm. I didn't even <laughs> that, know what I wanted to do. Guess what? That's owned by Coke. I believe that. That's owned by Coke Fanta, too. I don't know. the. Uh, I like root beer. Uh, I've had it. I'm not really a big fan of it. I don't know. I Like, the like, taste is cool. Like Burks. Like, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Pibbs. Yeah, yeah, my grandma used to have some Mr. Pibbs. Cream soda. Now, that mm. cream soda was cream soda. And then that's soda. and that's when Coca-Cola started doing the, the Coke Van- cherries. Vanilla Coke. Vanilla now, Coke. that vanilla Coke. Mm-hmm. All right, bro, we starting to sound like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We got him, boys. We oh, got him. Oh, he got him. Get you some <laughs> Coke. <laughs> Coca. My water. Coca Cola? La Coca. Right over there. Another Coca Cola stand. Every square. People were chugging Coke as far as the eye could see with practically no water bottles in sight. I wonder <laughs> how many bottles people drank here per day. Let's ask the people here how much Coke they drank. Coca Cola, baby, uh, Albia. She looking like, nigga, what? Tres. Hey, shout out to him actually being pretty fluent in Spanish, man. Yeah, that's actually boy, pretty yeah. dope. He better be fluent. That's, that's, that's pretty dope, man. Cada dia? Si. Um, Quanto litres in este? Dos litros? Dos litros al dia? Butterflies. See? Big old do- two liter right here. Uh, Quanto litros al dia? Dos litros? Un litro? That's a lot, dog. Yeah, so not only are they all drinking Coca Cola, but we got sweets everywhere. We got dolces, dolces, dolces. With highly processed, cheap, sugary snacks Ooh. and Coca Cola everywhere, I began to notice a concerning trend. I think I had the two pack in the backpack. Yeah, bro. <laughs> one see, for the morning and one for the night. <laughs> That's wild. Tiene miembros de tu familia con diabetes or no? Uh, si. Si, cuanto? <laughs> Say like now they are understanding like the Coca Cola is too much sugar. Okay. They are drinking, no? Can you ask when they came to that belief? Oh, he found out. So he found out. Aqua, you know, he drinks, start drinking that and mm-hmm. spread the word. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure most people, they just, you know, they grew up on what their family taught mm-hmm. them. For so sure. it's it's easy to just be like, well, this is what my mom and my grandmother and their grandparents, that's what they drunk. That's all we this, know. That's all we know. And this is all we have. You know what I'm saying? So, Thanks. I mean, shit, I got to drink something. If there's only Coke in the house, I guess I'm drinking Coke. That's it. Personas in este ciudad con diabetes? Sí. Sí, muchas? Sí, beber mucho refresco. Sí? Yes. Es muy mal, sí? Es malo. ¿Tú tienes miembros de esta familia con diabetes? Sí. Sí? ¿Tú tienes? Ah, mi papá. ¿En el pasado tú bebé mucho Coca-Cola o no? No. No? No, no, no. ¿Qué es la razón por tu diabetes? He really good with his pues, medicines. I like me them, dicen man. los médicos oh. la razón. Unos dicen que por estrés, por ah, genética, por, I see. por la alimentación. He's arguing por in the family, bro. Negativos. ¿La dieta tiene responsabilidad por diabetes en esta ciudad? No. ¿No? Mm. ¿En tú conoces muchas personas con diabetes? Sí. ¿Sí? ¿Y tú? Sí, también. Sí. Sí, bastante no. conozco. Como unos amigos, se dan tal vez como unos 10, 15 que conozco. Damn. ¿Qué es las razones por este? Igual estrés. Estrés. Trabajo, problemas familiares, económicos. No, dieta. Este. Pues no creo que no. Mm. Okay. Yo diría que no. He thinks diet has nothing to do with any of it. Do you think he's right? No, no, he's not. There's no way, right? right? No, 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 but they, they are not connecting. Dots need to be connected here. Yes. ¿Tú tienes miembros de tu familia con diabetes? Sí. ¿Se beben Coca-Cola? Sí. ¿Mucho? Sí. Sí, mi papá, mi abuela. Well, we... La mayoría de las familias mexicanas consumen mucho Coca-Cola. Ok. ¿Qué es en sus dietas de tus miembros de tu familia con diabetes? Creo que sí, el azúcar. 
más que nada el azúcar. Have you guys seen a lot of people drinking Coke out here? Yeah, a lot, a lot. Crazy, right? Yeah, like crazy. a lot of Coca-Cola yeah, everywhere. Like, just, like it replaces water, I feel like. Yeah. That's what we've learned. Do you think Coca-Cola was strategic in placing themselves here? Oh, yes. Hell of a lot of money. They worship Coca-Cola in some of the churches. Money. Yeah, they absolutely worship it. They have shops where it's piled, I don't know, like three meters high, Coca-Cola cans and bottles, and it's just unbelievable. From most people you've spoken to out here, do you think they're aware of the health consequences of the excess cola no. consumption? No. No? No. Some of them even go to like little witch doctors or whatever you call them. Yeah, and and they, they try and cure their diabetes with a bit of Coca-Cola, so. And you've seen <laughs> oh, they he trying to He's trying to cure it with Coca-Cola. They have shit. them, bro. They they have this whole entire community in, in a chokehold, choke hole, bro. When the religion starts to get involved and people believe the cult can help you, not even realizing that the same product that they're drinking is the same product that's actually hurting them. It's not the fact that they're drinking it. It's the fact that they're drinking so much of it every single day and not drinking it as much water. And I haven't seen one bottle of Diet Coke. There's no such thing as that. They don't even mm -mm, give them the sweet sugary stuff. That's all they're getting. Damn, No bro. gray labels, just red. Yep. Girls, even on these streets, right? Mm -hmm. Have any of these people acknowledged like this guy died due to diabetes? Oh yeah, it's coming. Yeah. You see people missing limbs and stuff like that. You really? find out they're diabetic, but a lot of them are unaware, like really unaware. Yeah. Do tienes miembros de tu familia con diabetes o no? Tuve. Sí. Eso. Okay. Diabetes. Tú tienes miembros de tu familia con diabetes? Ah sí. Sí. Oh sí. A todo? No, casi. ¿Por qué? Por el consumo de azúcar. Azúcar en la dieta. Galletas. Dulces. Bebidas. Todo lo que es harinas. Wow. Diabetes yeah. is everywhere. ¿Cuántos botellas de Coca-Cola se bebe al día? Tres. Gracias. Chao. We are addicted, no? With Three. the rate of diabetes in Mexico higher than even the U.S. and their obesity rates close behind, the solution to that. What are those? Oh, bro. That's, selection that's, of videos, bro. That's that's a cold clip. Just bro. zoomed in on somebody's stomach. That's that's cold clip. This health crisis isn't as simple as switching out Coke for bottles. Oh, of Coke water. Zero. I understand why people are are buying too much coca-cola because if somebody in the top of the mountain doesn't have money the coca-cola say okay i come and i give you a fridge i come and i give you uh, chairs and tables and then say okay what do you have to do you sell coca-cola mm. they don't have oh. yeah, coca-cola is mafia at the end the problem is that now we stop buying coca-cola but then we are going to be buying ciel so at the end we are giving the money to them and these guys they are not going to give you back some money to pay to the state to have a uh, health care, you know, like education, people in the top of Coca-Cola, that they want to have every every soda you know, all over the world, you know? Sure. That's the mentality. Damn. That's what is killing people. So we headed to the Coca-Cola bottling plant on the outskirts of the neighboring town of San Cristobal. We are looking for a Coca-Cola deposit. Okay, we are on the lookout for a Coca-Cola deposit. I don't know what that means. What is a Coca-Cola deposit? The biggest storage about Coca-Cola. Oh, I see. This Coca-Cola deposit yeah. itself. It's going to be heavily guarded, too. Yeah, yeah, bro. You know, armed niggas. guards. Yeah, nah. That's, that's the real Coke, guys. They the real Coke cowboys. Dead ass. They are. They are. Are they not? They are yeah. the real Coke cowboys. Every business has some Coke in it. And then they're going to sell you some water. Guess what? Made by them anyway. They're going to have a program for you to lose weight. And guess what? Give you some water and or Coke made by them anyway. Get some CL. Oh, they, bro, they yes. got it, bro. Drink more is there Coke to small street vendors yes. like we've seen? This bottling plant is one of the primary causes of this health epidemic because it drains over 1 million gallons of water per day, depleting the local source of drinking water and selling it back to them in the form of sugary Coke they typically choose in favor of the CL water brand that Coke also owns. How many of you struggle to get water every week? Todos los días, cada coca. All right. We've made it to the Coca-Cola FEMSA plant here. This is where they bottle Coke bottles. Wow, mm -hmm. yes. Let's walk a little further here. So we're seeing people in the red. They work for the Coca-Cola plant. Yes. Es tu trabajo? Uh, how many bottles per dia? 300,000. 300,000? Damn. 300,000 bottles per day. Whoa. Straight from the God, source. Damn. The, the, the car say like, I know it's not possible to, to go inside. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Got a little peek. 
All the flowers in there? Not sure what that means. Maybe all the lives they've killed? Curious to see if we could find the secret Dang. recipe in action. We threw the drone up to survey the area. He's got a drone. These sure. niggas doing hey. surveillance. When all, all right. this fails, bro. Yeah, you better be careful, though. Don't play with the yeah, Coke, nah, Coke nah, boys. Nah. Yeah, the Coke boys. They, Coke they boys. You know, all we could see was the scale of how much Coke was being produced and consumed here Damn. in the region. And what are their goals here? They have environmental goals? Yeah, that's a, like that's, a, 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 that's a, probably people illegal. They're like hiding people all the time. And it's like a more than five thousand people working. In uh, they are Damn. Like propaganda. After observing some of their rather hypocritical mission statements on the wall, I asked some employees that worked here if they knew anyone with diabetes. Quantos personas in tu familia tiene... Diabetes. Este, uh. Una. Mi mamá. Sí, el ma mi hermano mayor. De mis tíos. Tus tíos beben Coca-Cola? Sí, antes sí. Obviously, countless people are getting diabetes because of their excessive consumption of Coca-Cola. But the problem is Coca-Cola is everywhere. You find it easier it's than you find truck, water out here. Going, the irony of these of people there. working at the factory that produces the Coke, that, that causes wild. the diabetes, that causes their death. Even six feet under, Coke has managed to ingratiate themselves in the culture of the afterlife here. Rudy took me to a local graveyard to see this firsthand. Oh, it's everywhere out here now. Coca-Cola tied to the flowers in a two liter of Coke. Another can of Coke right here. Another bottle of Coke. Rudy, what's no. the significance of these cokes out here? It's, it's about like um, the people, they are like bringing offerings to the cemetery. So the Coca-Cola, Pepsi, Fanta, because yeah, part I of their seen, life. I've so seen, that... um, what's that movie called? Um, with the little boy. Mm -hmm. God damn it, his little Hispanic boy with the family and his grandparent died. One of y'all know in the chat, Coco. Mm. That's crazy that it was called Coco. Yeah, this that's wild, bro. That's just why you just find something, something else. Cemetery. Even the flowers being held are in old two liters of Coke. Yes. Part of their lives. Yes. While yes. they were alive. Yes. It doesn't necessarily have any religious connotation, but when it's practically everywhere, it almost becomes borderline religious. That's just uh, literally. Right there. Razón por la Coca Cola. Ah, porque solo lo pones. Since the 1960s, Coca-Cola has targeted the indigenous population here in Chiapas with localized marketing campaigns that combined Coca-Cola with the symbols and traditions of the people here, resulting in the most loyal Coca-Cola customers uh -huh. on Earth who drink almost five times more soda than the rest of Mexico. Woo! But at what cost? Yeah. I'm here with... Marcos Arana. I'm a medical anthropologist working for as a, as a researcher for the National Institute of Nutrition. Is it too late to reverse this diabetes epidemic here in Chiapas in Mexico? We need to, to develop more aggressive strategies to halt the consumption of Coca-Cola and also solving the problem of lack of adequate water. I mean, the, but we need right. to more and in providing safe water for the population so we can promote the consumption of simple water. This is a must for promoting health. This is also the responsibility of the government to give more information, to promote regulations. And due to Coca-Cola's recruitment of local vendors on nearly every corner of every street to advertise and sell Coke, clever marketing campaigns targeting poor and uneducated mm -hmm. indigenous communities and political connections within Mexico, like the former president okay. Vicente Fox, whose political career was conveniently funded by Coca-Cola and established a near monopoly on the local water supply, unless these people receive real education on the deadly consequences Coke is having that's, on their health. That's how crooked like all these people be. Kill the people here until there's no one left to drink themselves to death. And even then, they'll keep drinking. Rudy, if someone wants to visit this beautiful country of Mexico with you, where can they find you? Chiapas Experiencias through Instagram. Go check out Rudy right here. Come to Mexico. This place is epic. Also, whoever has the most viewed TikTok that's or YouTube, crazy. Bro. Short using it. That's that man. That is wild, bro. Bro, that they the true mafia. They the true Coke Cowboys. Yeah, yeah bro. man. You're the they have the monopoly on the water. They people don't really know. You endorse the, the people's in, in, in leadership. Yeah, oh yeah, no. Nah. They got that that whole community. They have them sold up for many generations to come. Unfortunately, because they know. When you're burying people and you're putting coke on a tombstone, it's over. You know it's people mentally. Once you got the mind, bro, you got them. Oh, damn, bro. This nigga saying this why I drink Sprite. Oh, my hey, coke. man. Dog, if y'all enjoyed the video, yeah, or if you be became educated in this, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. something that you've never known before. I didn't know this, this town uh, was ran 
heavily based off of Coke, man. That's crazy. Yeah, the advertising, everything. Coke. Like you, yeah. can, you can see the work that they put in to make sure people mm-hmm. naturally select Coke as their first option of something to drink, especially if it's easier to accessible than fresh and clean water. Mm-hmm. Come on, bro. They know what they're doing. But uh, let us know what else you guys would like us to check out, man. Keep on supporting us, spreading love, being loved. And we'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace out. Already. This bitch is from Houston. If you got a problem, then we got the solutions. And there's no illusion. I made this shit happen. I'm living life lucid. I'm switching my strategies. Now they hate on me because I'm causing casualties. But why are they after me? Deep inside, they know they can't handle half of me.